Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany and today I'm going to do a quick unboxing with you. I got a package from Atlas Stationer. This is my first package in almost a month and a half. Two months, three months. Pretty sure you guys know, then, you know, have a better idea than I do. Um, okay, so, oh, Christmas card. I, this is the first time I've received this Christmas card and bum bum. So while I was at the Philadelphia Pen Show, I was looking for a Omos. Some of them were just like really, really expensive, which makes sense. I don't know as much about Omas as I need to know, <laughs> but I knew that they would be pricey. So I just decided to go for one that was brand new. So this is the revived Omas, I guess is how they say. So it comes in this box. And... like that and then you get oh this is kind of nice kind of squishy box so box within, within a box oh so technically it was supposed to flap open and then just come out like that So it is not a perfect square. And that is it. Huh, why doesn't it come in plastic? Well, that's okay. It is a bit dusty. <laughs> so we get Pretty nice interior. You get the little tag that says Omos on there in a bed and underneath we get, oh, a warranty card. This is cute. This is like really thick, super thick. Interesting. Yeah, all right. So that's in there, that's in there. Putting everything back inside. This is it. It reminds me of a Pilot 823, kind of. Like the shape is very similar and the girth seems very similar. It looks a little bit smaller just from eyeing it right now. Let me go pick one up. All right, so I brought a couple of pens. I have, this is the Omas. This is the Pilot 823. And then this is a Platinum 3776. I decided to go for silver instead of gold, only because I thought it would be a little bit more see-through but they do have a gold accents option, um, which now in hindsight, I'm thinking probably would have looked really nice um, than the silver, but still, still pretty nice. So the girth is actually not that far from a platinum and it's not as, thin as a custom 823. So yeah, but we can look at this top down. Just wanted to show you the unboxing in real time. The um, body is a little bit more round. It's kind of like in between an 823 and a 3776 on the bottom. 
weight. It's definitely, it feels a little bit heavier than the other two. So that's interesting. The uh, clip is definitely understated and quite tiny in comparison to these three models. So the Omos is in the middle and it's like a short, short little clip there. It does have like the roller ball as well. Okay, so let's do top down and take a look. Hey guys, I have a ton of stuff on my desk still. Zoom in, let's take a look. This is the box. Kind of like a little bit squishy and then you get all of that. Okay, so I got the Omos Ojiva. And I got it in Nera, which is just a black. In the pictures online, I thought that this would be kind of see-through, but it doesn't quite feel like it. Wow, that was actually really nice when I opened it up. Okay. So you get this really cool, I guess, what do you call this style? I'm just gonna say older type of look on the band. It says Omos there, you have the clip, which is kind of tiny. Then you have Omos on the back engraved. Right there. And, and then you have the piston here and when you uncap you get the nice little design right here I got a fine which I could see right on the nib itself Omos written on the nib with this nice feature and design and I believe this is an ebonite feed. Should be, right? I'm excited to see how this writes. Here's a piston. Which is just kind of tight. So. Now it's a matter of what kind of ink do I want to put in here? And maybe I'll just dip the ink first. I kind of want to use one of my new um, inks, but uh, maybe this one, Early Dusk, I might use. There's Velvet Emerald, Cashmere Red. I haven't tested any of these out, but I'm just looking at the colors. Hmm. I kind of want to go with this velvet emerald. And I'm just going to dip it and just to get a feel for how it writes. So it does feel kind of weighted in the back. Like there's there's definitely some weight in there. Actually feels really nice um, without it being posted. Ooh, that was smooth. Can I spell velvet correctly? Wow, that's very wet, but then 
I did dip it, so it typically is wet. I like this color. I could see it has a bit of sheen, red sheen to it. Diamine. Okay, so um, this is a winner. The nib seems well tuned. Ooh, I can write in reverse. It is not scratchy. And this is quite wet. So this is, um, this paper is Aeroful paper. I'm so glad I got the fine because this fine is very, very wet. And I'm sure if I had gotten the medium or broad, it would have been super wet. And I want to be able to use my pens for day-to-day -day writing. So, um... This is perfect. It, the nib has a little bit of give, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't push it. It's like not bouncy, but you could make it bouncy if you want by applying more pressure. Um, yeah free writing it's pretty good Ooh, I'm excited I'm excited about this one I think this is probably going to be the winner when it comes to inking it up but let me pull out the other pens so you get an idea we have the Omos we have the platinum we have our 823. So you could see a difference in height, platinum being the smallest of the three, and then Omos almost as tall as the 823, maybe just off by a millimeter or two, and then the 823. Um, so A23 is definitely a little bit more see-through. This is the black color body. This one is a medium. Omos is the fine. And then platinum. I think this one's a fine. Nope, this one's a medium. So you can definitely see a difference. I would say that it looks like their sections are roughly the same. Maybe the 3776 is a little bit less girthy, but to me, they look pretty close. The barrel of the Omos is thicker than the other two. And definitely the Omos is a little bit more weightier, which is really nice when you're writing. Um, as for the nibs, it looks like it's definitely, a, so number six, I guess, um, similar to the, pel the pi uh, Platinum, sorry. And then the Pilot, it's a bigger nib. And then turning them over the feed until it's Ebonite. Ebonite has like a curvy feed. And very similar to the um, other pens that you can get, the Scribo. So let me, here's my Scribo 
and let me show you. You can see the feed there. Not too far off. They have this like swoop, which is very similar. It seems like the Scribo nibs are a slightly different shape. I feel like the glare is throwing things off, but anyhow, I am actually really excited about testing this one out a little bit more. And I like the way it feels. It's very comfortable. It has this weight that's slightly in the back. And let's see. Oh, it's not quite postable actually. It's there's it could just fall off, so I guess it's not meant to be posted. Anyhow, that's all I have to share with you today. If you have Omos and if you guys, if any of you who are huge fans of Omos can give me a little bit of a history lesson, <laughs> if you like, um, please feel free to do that in the comments. I would like to know more. I know I'm going to be looking around at other YouTubers to find out more about the brand. But um, thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next video.